You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob, and we, as always, are super excited to be sitting here in these two chairs talking to you, and so incredibly thankful that you're sitting wherever you're sitting, or, or walking, or running, or doing whatever you're doing. I actually think that'd be a good idea. I like to listen to podcasts when I run. And don't tell us if you're laying in bed listening to the show. There's and don't that. come to a training and tell me that too. It's happened like nine times now. It's not funny. <laughs> I still think you're weird. <laughs> you're not gonna get a laugh out of me like so don't try it <laughs> please <laughs> yeah I, I suppose there's always an, a new place but um probably most places that someone would come up and tell you someone else has already come up and told you and just know we're grateful that you listen no oh, matter yeah. where you do it you yeah. just just don't have to give out all that information <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways i'm sure you understand yes and uh i also hope you understand um, that we're very thankful we are thankful. Um, we are thankful for the questions as well. So make sure you keep uh, sending those questions in. Whether you have a question about scaling your autonomous marketing practices, or maybe you have a question about the deep, nuanced information about which GPS system to use when mapping. Hey, great. If you want to ask a question, and really get Rob fired up. If you want to see steam roll off that bald head, then you got to ask a really good business question. <laughs> and frankly, there's probably not a better person to ask a business question to than this guy right here. That's not because I get to sit here and listen to him all the time. It's because with years of experience, a licensed CPA, and an unrelenting desire to better himself, and lifelong learning. I don't really know someone that's really more objective than you when it comes to uh, answering business questions. So if you have a business well, question, you. make sure you send it in because we, we'd love to hear it. We really would love to hear it. So we'll let's move. Best. Let's move into today's question. Now, everyone, I think we've heard some rendition of this question many different ways. Ultimately, coming down to, I got three grand. I need to buy a drone. What drone do I buy? We've talked about, look, you've got to isolate what type of jobs you know, you're doing in order to service those jobs. But something, as we talk about this as much as we do, I think I get better and better about really uh, being eloquent about why you may want one particular aircraft over another. Mm -hmm. With that said, I think I'm going to provide the most eloquent, succinct um, summary of if you've got 3K to buy on a drone, what to do with that 3K but we are not gonna answer the question, if I have 3K to start my drone business, what do I do? Because that's an entirely different question. It is, um, much broader for one. Mm -hmm. So we're also not going to ask the question of, I've got a $3,000 budget for a $1,000 Mavic, should I get training? As Bill English and many other very well-respected people have said in this industry, if you expect to be successful over the long term, you need to understand that at least a third of your budget should be going to training. I mean, he says a lot more than that. He was like, if you've got 25 grand to buy a drone, you spend five grand on drone and you spend $10,000 on training and then you spend the rest of the money on all the accessories that you need. <laughs> well, <laughs> That's about true. <laughs> and I will just say as the... as. A business guy. Hey. I would have a few reserves. A few reserves to take care of myself. <laughs> so look, let, let's cut that piece of the pie into the equation as well. But anyways, I'm look, with you. I'm gonna save That's some money. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hurt myself by implementing <laughs> this super sh shoestring budget. I'm not That's gonna right. be like that, you know? Who wants to be like that, huh? Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Give yourself a little room. Yeah, nobody wants to be like that. Nobody. All right, All right let's get to today's question. Okay. Brought to you by, well, as you know, we've kind of shut down some advertisers because we only want to promote the people that we believe in. And because we're trying to focus on the fly-in, our trainings, and this r great new education program coming out, we haven't really focused on sponsorships. So uh, I'm just going to be really quick. Hey, if you want to support DroneU, if you love the information that you get on the podcast, and I actually just got literally a message from a fire department on Instagram while I was recording this podcast. In fact, since he listens to the show, I'm just going to give him a shout out really fast. Nice. Village of Pell Hammy Fire Department. 
So, hmm. um, Is long that in the South. What's that? Sounds like somewhere in the South. Yeah, I'm not really sure. But anyway, he says that he gets a lot of information from us and he really appreciates it. If you Thank really you. appreciate it, then you can support Drone You in various ways. You can become a member as they are, or you can join us at a training, check them out, or just come to the fly in where you get the best of everything all at once in the coolest location ever that Rob and I have been working on for the last year. DroneUFlyIn.com. Check it out. Hey guys, this is Mike from Dallas. I, uh, I got a question here for you. Um, I'm new to drones. I've been flying a Phantom 4 regular for about a month now, and I'm looking to jump headfirst into oh, starting my drone business, currently focusing on the construction industry, um, from everything to pictures and videos for site updates for their project builders, project managers, all the way to I want to be able to eventually be doing mapping and offer a lot more deliverables for these construction companies. Um, and I want to know what should I be looking for in my next drone. I'm going to be having a budget of about $3,000. And I want to make um, a decision where I can utilize everything in the drone to its camera and to its mapping capabilities if that's possible with that budget range. Thank you, and hopefully that was clear. First of all, I definitely messed up the name of the village of Pelham, New York. <laughs> Sorry about that. I kind of like Pelhammy, though. Yeah. Well, that's that's kinda, yeah. I'm, I bet there's a Pelhammy out there somewhere. There probably is. Anyways, Mike, thank you very much uh, for the question. So I think there's probably, after everybody's listened to the podcast for a while, they probably know where the, the answer might go. But I kind of want to hear maybe what different direction you're going to take it. Okay. So what what's, the, thoughts? what's the best drone for photography and clandestine operations? Photography and clandestine operations, I would say the Mavic 2 Pro. Perfect. Ding, 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 ding. Rob gets it. Okay. Question number two. What drone has the same size sensor as the Mavic 2 Pro, but can articulate and fly in much more aggressive winds and can also fly in much more aggressive flight movements and doing so slowly? And doing so slowly. Or smoothly, excuse me. Smoothly. I mean, I have to ass assume that you're alluding to a Phantom 4. Phantom 4 Pro. Pro. Okay, D2. now, typically, that drone can only fly, let's say, up to 35 miles an hour and pretty much can only go about 25 to 30 miles an hour into the wind. And you get a lot of gimbal shake, okay? You get a lot of, uh, I forget what they call it. We used to see it all the time the jello effect because the gimbal can only handle so much. So if I'm doing action sports, super high speed flights, off-road racing, what kind of drone? It's probably still the Phantom, isn't it? Inspire 2. Oh, well, yeah. We're, gimbal... So we're hopping up into uh -huh. price. Well, Sorry. yes, we are. I... But the Inspire 2 is 2885 or 2900, excuse me, for just the frame for the Inspire 2. So I have to technically cover it. And just to be honest, if you're doing high speed stuff, action sports stuff, super complex videography, there is no better drone than the Inspire 2, hands down. Now, that being said, if you want a drone that maybe you don't have eight years of skill to fly those types of situations that we just talked about with the off-road stuff, the super high speed, but you need smooth footage too type of drone, and you're like, you know, I'm probably not that far down the scale but you need a great drone for videography. You need a great drone that can not only do great video and decent photos, but great photogrammetry, aka measurements from images. What's our drone of choice, Rob? It's the P4P. I just kicked the box below me Oh, on accident. <laughs> it's the Phantom 4 Pro version 2. Look, if you're trying to start a business, you need to be able to serve as many clients as possible. The way that you're going to do that is you are going to need a drone that can service those different industry uh, verticals. And you need a drone that does not have a linear rolling shutter sensor. This way, if you get into doing mapping at volume, let's just say three maps a week, you can actually keep up with it. You can actually get it done. With a linear rolling shutter camera, you're looking at two to three times the amount of acquisition time in addition to at least two times the processing time that it would take um, to, to get that. So if I'm looking at a drone sub three grand, Phantom 4 Pro version two just dropped in price a little bit. I would pick one of those up. I would get a Go Professional Cases uh, backpack for the Phantom. I love, that is my favorite case of all time. And it's not even a case, it's more of a backpack. But the reason I love it is because I can fit 17 batteries in there. Literally? Uh, 
Just I may or may not in Hawaii. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Because I had, I had 10 Phantom I'll batteries. I had five map. Yeah, no, I had way more than 17, actually. Wow. I had 27. Very important. You checked that. I mean, you did not check that back. <laughs> no, I did not check did that not back. not check that back. Anyway, long story short is um, I love that backpack because it's light. You can walk and hike anywhere with the Phantom. It makes it super easy. Um, and if anyone says that their backpack is too heavy with those batteries... In it, you are not cut out to be a drone pilot. Thank you. Next. I don't. <laughs> Sorry. You got to be tough in this industry. This is not for the faint of heart, man. Well, you can certainly be out in some nasty conditions, particularly if you live in a part of the country. I don't know. Say some of our friends up in the uh, upper Midwest and, you know, what do they have? Three or four, maybe five months of solid weather. So the rest of the year. Sucks. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Point being, you better be tough yeah. to deal with some of those uh, conditions. It's true. But I mean, here's the thing. Look, it's all a matter of perspective, right? Rob, you can manage a bunch of people in sketchy situations, and that's probably a lot scarier and a lot more rough than being out in the rough. For people like me, it's, it's, it's quite peaceful. Yeah. So I love it out there. I, and I love, I love the fact that it's hard because it's constantly challenging me and making me think more. And I would rather be challenged than bored. It's that simple. But going back to this show, you're buying the drone, you're buying the backpack, you need to get a quad charger. That's going to run you 500 bucks. The backpack, the charger, you're at 750 With the drone, you're now at 2250 Thus, you got 750 bucks left. What do you do? Buy an extra battery and go to Flight Mastery. I'm done. Woo! <laughs> Fishing. All right. All, right. In okay. all seriousness, you're done. No, I'm, I'm not no, done. No, that wasn't a mic drop? No, that was not oh, okay. a mic drop. I don't... Look I, look, I believe Flight Mastery is one of the best trainings out there because it is, and other people have told me that. Um, but I really think if someone wants to be skillful, they need to be challenged right away. Yeah. So that they understand what they're facing, you know? Right. right. But also... I've never seen anyone gain more confidence than, than what I've seen at that training. So. Well, sure. And here's one of the things that we see is that we see people hop up the learning curve at Flight Mastery incredibly quickly. And the way that that is evidenced is by you get somebody who's relatively new coming in, beating an experienced pilot on the obstacle course at the end of the day. That's always very exciting. I can tell you that PJ, one of his primary motivations is if he is, uh, for forgive me for outing you, PJ, but I think Paul already knows this. If he's training some beginners and you're training, let me put it another way. He wants whoever he's training to be whoever you're training. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know you know. I know. We but call, I love it. We call this team it. Alpha Beta every <laughs> training. Yeah, 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 yeah. We always joke about who's the Alpha team. Yeah. But in all honesty, anyone who goes to Flight Mastery is really on the Alpha team. At That's least right. all the successful people that I've seen, most of them have gone to Flight Mastery. I mean, the ultimate, it's really subject tracking. But Flight Mastery, it makes people feel more capable. They're able to have the confidence to slow things down and think things through. Yeah. That is valuable for a lot of people. Indeed. All right. If you're buying a new drone, let's just get one question out of the way. If you're just getting into the drone industry... Do you have an opportunity to actually compete with the guys that are out there? Yes. If you're willing to do these two things, number one is work harder than most of them, which is actually not difficult. If you're willing to be very consistent about the time that you put in, it's not hard to work harder. It's also not hard to be more productive rather than busy. But so the first thing is you got to work harder. Okay. That means you're out there practicing flying every single day. If if Rob, if you flew every single morning one battery, you would literally be flying probably more than ninety-five percent of the drone industry. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Yeah. So step I'm one. Go fly as soon as we're done. By the way, he flew even earlier today. It was so awesome to watch you go out and do that. <laughs> um, so you fly a battery every day. You work on your marketing every day. You time block every day. This is number one, working harder than the competition. But point number two is, yeah, you know it. Starts with an S. Ends with aware. <laughs> Software? Self-aware. Self you have to be self-aware. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to be self-aware. So step number one, <laughs> hard work. Number two is self-aware. Um, because what does self-aware mean? Uh, this is something I had to learn. Self-aware means you're thinking about your actions and the consequences that they have and trying to decide if that's the future you want to live in. 
self-aware. Mm. Like how you put that. Thank you. Um, self-aware is also understanding that in order to be successful, you have more to learn right now than anything else you've ever faced in your life, except for maybe having a child. That's, that's pretty big too. So that being said, that's a lot to learn how to be a parent, it is. right? But still learning to learn how to be successful in business, which is a freaking learning curve in itself. Um, you have to be willing to learn and you have to believe that you have the capability to learn, not all at once, but in small blocks and slowly. For me, it was podcasts. And when I started to remember what all these podcasts were saying, and then I went into like online courses and I went super deep, I realized how much information I could retain when I was happy. 31% smarter, according to a study that hmm. I cannot remember right now. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, I firmly believe that self-awareness is probably the most powerful um, observation that one can make, period. Mm -hmm. I mean, take take something like, um, I don't, well, I don't want to go down rabbit trails that I shouldn't, but I just feel like that's very powerful. But you know what I want to do? And I don't think we've ever done anything like this, but what mm. I'd like to do to reward people who are listening to this podcast, who are believing in what we're talking about, I would like to reward them with a pretty good discount on a flight mastery class somewhere. Really? So it'll be a coupon code that will be in the show notes to this show. And I'm not going to put a deadline or anything on it, but the only way anybody will ever know about it is if they listen to this show and they listen to the end. And if they do, and they're willing to invest in themselves, hopefully, i.e. Mike, then you'll have an opportunity to go to Flight Mastery at a, at a discount. You down? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, just if, want, I just wanted people... If you people, would have said no, I would have I been just bummed. Wanted, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I, I just wanted people to wonder what I was thinking. So I just yeah, sat yeah. here for a second like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, so... No, I want... Look, look, look. Okay, these people who have been listening to us, they've watched me evolve. They've watched you evolve. They've watched our relationship evolve. And you know what? Like, I'm super grateful that they had the patience to be with us the whole time. So yeah, me absolutely. Too. Yeah, absolutely. And so here's the code. Ready? Uh-oh. What is the code? That's it? That's it. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, I don't know what the code is. Make up a code. I so just made up the code. No, 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 no. Give me a real code. Okay, ready? So the code will be... That was the be... same code, by the way. I, yeah, okay. E one. The code is, you're beautiful, seven. can I have a beer? No, it's That's too long. what I actually just said, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You're not, can I buy you a beer, but can I have a beer? Can I have a beer? You're beautiful. Can I have a beer? So getting something for the compliment? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, uh, there so... Was, there was no purpose <laughs> to it at all. It was, so the coupon code is going to be E1087DU, and the letters are all caps. That is the coupon code. It'll be in the show notes. And uh, if you happen to listen to this and you're willing to go to one of our Flight Mastery classes anywhere that one is given, you can use that coupon code. You will enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. You're going to learn a lot. It's challenging. But man, the growth you have is crazy. Anyway, okay. Just to recap, Best Drone, it's a phantom. You knew that before you came here. But why? Again, it can articulate itself in ways that those Mavics cannot. Is it louder? Yes. But even the people who fly Mavics that are quieter, in at least in the observations that I have seen, really don't understand the clandestine methods of flying completely under the radar. I should do a class on that, actually. Sure. Like, it's actually funny because I was flying with, never mind. We love you guys and girls. We're, look, we don't care either way, okay? We're, we're, we're pretty chill here at Drone You because we want to help you. It's that simple. So if you want to help us help other people and help you, then let us know how we can do it better. Maybe share this with a friend and check out our new upcoming props program. It's going to fundamentally change what you think about Drone You. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.